Minister, if we look at the big scene of farming, once again Europe has failed to grasp the big nettle. And that's the fact that if I accept dairy farming, and certainly in relation to beef and sheep farming, if I put aside the fixed grants that people get irrespective of productivity, as long as they have a very basic level of farming going on, the more intensively you farm, the less profit you make. And the more, in fact, at the end of the year when you do up your accounts, you find yourself eating into your grants. And I have looked at endless sets of accounts. I've talked to endless farmers. And it is absolutely a farcical industry that the harder you work, the more intensively you work, the more efficiently you work, the less money you make. And until internationally we grasp that particular nettle, we're going to have problems in agriculture. Now, you know my view on convergence. My view is that price should be how the farmers with high output, very good land should make their money. And that basing any grant on something that happened in 2001 or 2003 is foolish. For example, a young farmer of 25 now was five years of age when this was settled, and if their grandparent or their parent owned the land, they might not be farming it intensively. And anyway, your department said to me when I asked, try to get the relationship between stocking intensity and single farm payment rates. They told me we can't give it to you because there'll be so much buying and selling, the whole thing's irrelevant anyway. So a lot of it even doesn't have any relationship to 2001. Now, in the last cap, the greening payment was not subject to convergence. And people continued to get the greening payment at the full rate, the full 30% rate of what they had inherited from 2001 or what they had bought. Can you tell me what rate is going to apply? Is that rate going to continue on for the greening part of what will be the new basic payment the next time? Uh, I don't think we'll have time to get the answer maybe today. You might send me on the answer because I think that's a very, very fundamental question that I haven't certainly seen uh, answered. Now, I have to say I'm a little bit annoyed at commentary by certain farm organizations and farm leaders disparaging the part-time farmer as if they were hobby farmers. You know and I know, representing marginal land areas, that one, they're absolutely vital from an environmental point of view, and the most productive farmers would be at a loss if we didn't have the environmental areas from a European point of view. The second point is that everyone forgets that in a lot of cases of households in the West Coast or in the poorer parts of every other county, and remember there are hill areas in every county, there are disadvantaged lands in every county, there are people on no payments in every county, that a lot of those farmers are dependent on a very, very modest job and their farm combined income to get a decent standard of living. And therefore, it is a real part of their annual income combined with their off farm income. And also, many productive farmers have partners or spouses in very lucrative jobs. So all farmers who are farming, who farming for a serious income, are important, whether they're big or small. Now, another issue I'd just like to highlight, because, again, it goes unnoticed. In the noughties, reps was 11,000 euro for farmers. For a lot of farmers, it was 11,000 euro. Now the equivalents are 4,000 euro with huge compliance costs in terms of planners. That's seven of a loss. The convergence to date in no way makes up that loss. And the percentage income loss for farmers who were in reps getting the full rate to the present full rate of, of us, the gloss scheme, is absolutely ginormous in terms of percent of their the, 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 the money. So 
The reality is, Minister, we need reform. Unfortunately, Europe has balked at reform. And the balked at reform, and the most fundamental issue that when I was spokesperson for Fiona Fáil and Agriculture that I spent a lot of time on, the price issue, and I went over and back to Europe, they said they were interested, but we haven't dealt with the payment to primary producers. It's a worldwide problem, I grant you, but it's a European problem. And until we make it profitable to produce beef and lamb and so on, we're actually you know, destroying farming and we're destroying productive farming, which we all need.